Now, what's one of the biggest things that we as people look forward to in life? For me, it was all about having the freedom to do as I please, meaning having the opportunity to pave out a path in life for myself. I think that's, for me, is what life's all about. It's just being able to break the ties of, you know, um, kind of like being bound and having to work for someone else in a sense. Because when you go out there and find a job, say for instance, you know, and there's nothing wrong with this, all right? Starting a career, something you love, you're working for somebody, whether it's the state, the government, somebody that started a corporation, you're working for someone, all right? You're always going to have someone that's going to be over you. Now, the good thing about becoming a trader is um, being able to have your own means of freedom, being your own boss. And I want to share with you a little bit about my journey, okay, along the way, which was 11 years ago for me, okay? Um, yes, it wasn't easy because we all face that fear of, what if this does not work out, right? And lots of people have already, you know, probably put in their notice and and, and, and terminated themselves to just take a risk in life. And lots of people actually become successful um, just by taking risks. Some of the biggest or some of the most successful or wealthiest people or individuals in this world are the greatest risk takers. Now, that may not be for everyone because, you know, some people are, kind of get complacent in a sense they, they they want the easier route of going to work for someone else because they know they're going to get paid you know more at the end of the week or at the end of the month there's a check at hand that is due to you right now as a day trader i don't care if you um or maybe you're a swing trader or a position trader whatever style of trading you actually do okay or pursue in this business uh, there's levels of risk as well, and we all know one of the greatest risks is what? Losing money, okay? You have to educate yourself very well about this business to be in this business, all right? And you have to have the strength, the stability to be able to uh, ride the wave each and every day and be smart about uh, the opportunities or trades that you look to take. You know, a lot of people just think that this is so easy to get into every day. Hey, I had the capital, I open a brokerage account, and I'll start dropping money and taking trades and hopefully make some money. And I said this before, people get lucky all the time. But it's only going to take that one time to where you really did not um, or do not understand what's going on in the market, meaning being able to read, all right? what the banks or the, 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 the big institutions are, are trying to do or accomplish to where you're going to get um, your pride uh, kind of um, uh, damaged. You're going to get your ego uh, damaged, bruised, because the market is going to smack you very hard <laughs> and you're going to end up losing some good money. All right. And it doesn't take too many people too many times to lose a certain amount of money, where regardless of what that is, it could be a thousand dollars, it could be fifty thousand dollars. But if you do not know how to to trade, then you are going to get your ego, your pride damaged very quickly, and it will force you out of this, uh, you know, mindset of wanting to become a trader any longer. Okay, now some of us play the game a little longer than others, meaning that we may blow up through a, a, a couple of accounts. A few times and then we figure things out some people may take one time some people may never blow their account i did never blow an account i will say this because i traded with pennies on a dollar meaning i did not trade much at all when i first got into this uh to the, the you know the business of trading okay along my journey i put money into an account and um i will honestly say that i did not 100 percent know how to really read the market meaning understanding market structure and following price action, being able to look at a chart as I do today from a naked standpoint, meaning the charts themselves, and understanding what was from a in higher time frames what the market was trying to accomplish. All right, all right. Now we know the market can reverse at any given time, but it is up to us as as traders, whether we are beginner traders or more experienced traders, to really be able to zero in, be able to put ourselves in a position to where we can. 
uh, feel what the market is doing, see visually what the market is doing so that we are able to make winning or take winning trades so that we can build an account, right? Regardless of what size account you have, that's something that every trader has to really, you know, figure out. Do you have a small uh, size account or you have a larger size account? Regardless of the fact is, I would even say this, if you have a large account, you know, and you're, 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 you're new to trading and you say, I'm going to drop $25,000 on a tune account. And, um, I would say to definitely just trade one contract, one lot at a time. Doesn't matter the market. So that's until you build up the confidence to really understand and, and know how to trade correctly. And honestly, I would say don't even trade at all. Just paper trade, demo trade. Um, so to protect yourself from not losing any money. And then when you're ready, start trading one contract at a time. All right. That's what I would recommend. I would say just sim trade, demo trade, paper trade, whatever it is. It's all the same thing until you understand how to really truly trade. Now, um, 11, 11 years ago, when I started my path into the trading world as a beginner trader, it was quite fearful for me, probably just as most of you who start out and really not uh, having all the components, the bells and whistles to really understand and know how to trade correctly, okay? Um, I had to figure things out. I always say that, you know, I had to educate myself. I didn't pay for anyone's trading course. I'm not saying that there's anything, you know, wrong with that. But again, like I said in the past, you really need to uh, kind of do your research and your homework to see, you know, what you're trying to learn in a sense, because some of those courses out there that individuals may or, or businesses or, or whoever's offering these courses out there, um, it may not it may not be for you. You know, there are a lot of people out here who actually do not trade. They actually just are may appear they're trading, but and, and can and want to show you a strategy or or uh, uh, provide a course for you to pay for. And they're not trading themselves. They just they're in the business of making money by either either selling you a course um, and trying to advertise and market it. You see a lot of those type uh, commercials or, um, yeah, on YouTube, say, for instance, you know, when you see those ads that pop up and you see a bunch of them about trading and follow my course or you can make $5,000 a day if, if you just follow this certain strategy. You see a lot of that stuff, right? Um, and I'm not saying, you know, me personally, I don't know if, you know, um, if, they may not work or not because I never tried or whatever the case is. I just believe that when people are putting our, their emphasis so much on trying to uh, pay for ads out there to persuade people, I'm a little cautious about things like that, all right? And I'm not um, a very, what am I trying to say here? Impulsive based person based on, you know, just because somebody shows me something, I think that, hey, I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon. I have to really do my research and you have to really prove to me uh, th that it actually works, okay? Now, I'm not saying everybody's strategy works, all right? But I'm just telling you, from my standpoint, when I first started doing this 11 years ago, I was fearful because of the fact is, is that anytime in life when we start something new, whether it's starting a new career, you know, uh, having a new job opportunity or stepping out on your own and creating your own business, there's always that fear factor because you just don't know if you're going to be happy doing it, if it's going to work out in the end, um, if you are a new business owner you, and, and you put tons of money um, and energy into creating a business and with the hopes that it actually, you know, pans out because it was something that you passionate about in life, passionate about in life and you really want it to work. You know, we, we give our all in making sure um, when we have, you know, something that we really that, that holds true to our heart and we love so much that we're passionate about, we really like we, we go to bat for it, right? And that's how I felt about, about trading. I wanted to do it because I knew I could do it because that's the way I felt my whole life is, and still to this day, you know, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Everyone has a, a certain skill set, all right? We're giving gifts. Um, and one of my biggest gifts is being very analytical, analytical, okay? I'm able to kind of, you know, using my mind, being able to tear things apart, put them back together. Um, I can kind of pinpoint things very quickly. Um, so, you know, when I was in school, I was I programmed a lot. So I was able to really just pick up on things and, and whether it be a syntax error or, you know, something was out of place in, a, in, a, in, a, in an algorithm, whatever, in, in programming that just didn't um, allow a program to run or correctly and work the way it should. 
So in doing that, you know, I kind of took that in a sense, just that skill set I had and able to read the market, the charts in the same sense. So with that skill set of being analytical, you know, I'm able to interpret and kind of decipher, break things down from a visual standpoint and looking at the charts, you know, from a higher time frame, a lower time frame, just, you know, looking for opportunities. I can, I can, I can see and understand what the market is kind of trying to accomplish. You know, I'm not, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not someone that drives the market and we as retail traders don't drive the market, but it's our goal. It is our responsibility to be able to uh, interpret what the big institutions are really trying to accomplish. All right. And that's called reading market structure and following price action. I always talk about that because they are the two biggest components to really succeed in this business. Now, when I first started, yes, I was always kind of fearful, you know, anxiety always stepped in um, and because I didn't want to lose any money. I think everyone out there, regardless of, you know, what you trade, how you trade um, and what level of trader you, you are, it doesn't matter. It's always going to be there, that component of fear of losing money. All right. I don't care if you if you have millions of dollars. All right. Because if you at that point to where you have that kind of money you're trading with, say, for instance, then you know you're, there's more risk at hand because you are taking bigger trades. You're putting more contracts or lots on, so which means you have a lot more to lose or risk. What I would tell traders today is that when you are ready to actually go live and start trading, as I said, start sim, uh, uh, simulated trading or demo trading until you understand um, really how to trade and be effective and you have a proven strategy that works for you day in and day out, then take a small amount of money, okay, you know, it could be a few hundred dollars. You know, you want to trade the micros to start with, say, for instance. I recommend that, all right? Uh, when I first started, the micros didn't exist. Now the mi micros exist to even allow people. I think it's a good opportunity for inexperienced traders that have learned to actually trade and have a solid trading plan and a strategy that works to start that way to test, all right? Once you have done all the back testing that you can possibly do and say the strategy that I have uh, say for instance is effective um, you know a certain percent all right and that's the key to it we always want to be able to um, have larger winners than we do losers okay so let's say your strategy is effective 75 percent all right that, that's 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 good you know if you are able to walk away with bigger winners than you are losers that's the key is control it's called risk management the trades you put on so I would recommend beginner traders, someone new, to really start off uh, trading the micros. I don't care how much money you have, just to get your feet wet. And then as you start to build up an account, again, even if you have you know large amount of, of money to put into a brokerage account, so you have a nice amount of capital to trade with, why would you want to risk something if you really, or a certain amount of money if you really don't know uh, a lot about trading? You know, you are. Maybe you've taken a trading course. Maybe you've picked up a strategy that works. Maybe you've done and understand uh, market structure and price action. You spent months in back testing. You spent months in testing that strategy. And then, like I said, it's effective and it works a certain percent of the time to where your winners out, outweigh your, your losers. Then still start off with baby steps. Do not just jump in for, for gusto. You know, Give yourself some time to really build up and prove, it, prove to yourself. That's why you always hear, hear lots of people saying that it took X amount of money to put in a brokerage account to test it to see if things are going to work, okay? A lot, some people take a couple hundred dollars and trade the micros with and see once they've learned how to trade, and a lot of them are successful. So I would always state, start off slowly and do not go in for the full gusto and jump right into doing things. The fear piece will slowly diminish in, over time, not just overnight or a few months after you learn uh, and you start making some money trading or even a year the fear pack the fear is always going to be there But it will diminish it, That's one part of the component when we try to train ourselves our, our minds trying to um, Really maintain the psychological uh, points of You know the fear greed uh, You know that fear of missing out piece. There's so many components when it comes to the psychological um, pieces that we have to really, and I talk about this in videos, that we really need to control, okay? The biggest part of us, uh, what stands in the way of us being the difference of becoming or being a, a, a great trader 
and not being a great trader is this right here the mind okay it's all controlled 90 percent or more of it is being able to um control the psychological components all right get ourselves in checks and balances upstairs okay and a lot of traders miss out on a lot of opportunities because they're scared to take the trades when they're great opportunities you know don't spend so much time analyzing a lot of times okay when you see a good set a setup and it works meaning when you see a good setup and it's part of your your, your, your trading plan okay and 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 tackle it with your strategy you've already done the homework you've already spent months in back testing okay paper trading and simulating and seeing and improving to yourself that it works and then you slowly start to dab into the live markets uh trading real money again start off slow um then you've proven to yourself that it works don't be fearful to take trades when you see them that's the thing the more you do that the more you can prove that your strategy works that fear piece that component um starts to slowly diminish it will never go away because of the fact is we have money tied to this business all right in a sense that we are transacting placing trades within the market and there's money tied to it nobody wants to lose money but that comes with the territory we're going to take bad trades again that all ties into risk management and being able to know uh when to get out the market to protect your capital that's the key all right we take we're all going to take losing trades whether it's you know a, a few ticks a few points whatever whatever it is you have to know where your threshold is to get out the market okay and that's what started working for me was when i figured out spe specifically a strategy to trade with and knowing and, and being able to uh practice proper risk management knowing where i need to get out of the trade the moment before i even get to a trade i always talk about this i know where i need to get out at i trade supply and demand so my when i mark my zones okay i know where to get out of it lots of people you know think that say for instance my style of trading may not mirror or work for you okay my stop loss or you know ment mentally where i put put why i know i need to get out the trade up may not work for you people always ask me well where's your stop loss at where do you you know where do you um you know uh, mentally where you are, are, are placing your stop loss you know when I'm right in front of this computer, lots of times I won't put on a hard stop, you know, because I, I, I know where I need to get out at. The moment I get into that trade, I've already marked off that zone where I'm looking to get into a trade app, and I've already marked off where I need to get out at, okay? Now, uh, once, say, for instance, a, a contract or two has been filled, I, you know, may go ahead and put in a stop, a, a hard stop. And lots of times that's because I'm stepping away from the computer um, and, you know, I've locked in my profit, okay? And I like to do that. And I recommend doing that. Once you're in the profit and the market has allowed you to and taken out most of your, your, your lot size or your contracts, then put in a, a hard stop a hard stop, say for instance, to protect uh, yourself and be in profit. Okay. Don't allow the market to come back against you. All right. Because it will. They're always trying to shop for stops in the market. They know where traders are trading at, um, putting on orders. And so the key to it is really understanding where is it that they are putting their positions on it and understanding what they're trying to accomplish again i will say that the key to trading is being able to read the charts to see opportunities within the market where the big institutions are trading at okay I meaning they have orders to fill and lots of times when we see the market shoot up in a certain direction it moves away from an area but well, that's a creation of a zone or shoots to the downside there's a creation of a zone and when we see those big imbalances or imbalances, one candle stack after another candle where the market is pushed real hard to the upside or downside, and there's imbalances, they've got to come back at some point to fill in those voids. I'm not say, say for instance, voids, but meaning fill in the imbalanced areas, okay? All right? And possibly transact again at those levels um, to, uh, you know, place orders or fill the rest of the orders, I should say, okay? So, again... You have to be able to control that fear piece. And it will affect you at some point or another along your journey. Most of it will start at the beginning of your journey trying to become a proven and effective and, 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 and solid trader. Okay? But it will never go away. It will only slightly diminish. All right? And lots of traders, when they get into a trade um, and the market starts to come back against them, that anxiety part starts to kick in. All right? But still, I mean, you have to understand this is the business that you're into if you're passionate about doing you just have to put in 
the proper measures to protect yourself. You may take a loss. Okay, we'll get back into the market on another great setup and when you know cover your losses and make more and make money back up. Okay, so meaning that you took a trade, trade one was a loser. Okay, trade two comes about, you see a great setup, take the opportunity to cover that trade. All right, and maybe you break even for the day or, or to cover that trade and make some so you're in profit for the day. I always talk about being in the green every day. You should be in the green every day, never in the red. That's the way to properly build up and grow an account, whether it's small or large. All right, so it's just all about your starting place and where you need to end up at and being smart about your money. Hey, that's why they call it smart money in a sense, right? Smart money concept, SMC, right? You see so many videos out there talking about it. I've, I've even done videos talking about smart money concepts. It's discovering and discussing um, the big institutions and how they move and just really understanding that's how we as retail traders should move. Understand that piece. But the bottom line here in this video here is to really let you know that even 11 years ago when I started my journey into this business, okay, yes, I was passionate about it. And I told myself, if there are other successful traders out there, I know I could be one of those key traders or great traders, or I could turn myself into a great trader, all right? It's just all about being um, patient, being effective, um, having a great strategy, you know, having the tools under your belt, uh, meaning the educational components, understanding. And it doesn't take a lot, you know? The more you trade, the better you become, the easier it gets. I'm not going to say it's easy from the beginning because... People are always trying to figure out how can I get in this biz this business of trading and make money real quick. If you're in this business just to just to uh, make some money and then go about your way, then it's it's not going to work out for you. You know, lots of people just think that I'm going to test the waters, and they test the water, they get smacked, and then they lose money, and that takes all the taste away from them from even want to even uh, uh, continue moving forward. But for me, I had to see it through the end because to, for me. It, it turned into a business. It was something I wanted to take to a create, start off from an individual standpoint, you know, just doing it for myself and turning it into a business. And you have to think of it as a business because it is, okay? There are trans, money is being turned in the markets every single day, okay? Put in and taken out, put in and taken out. Understand that. Somebody's always making money. So allow that opportunity to be you as well. Just know how to get into this business at a starting point and build your way up all right meaning educate yourself and understand all the components about it so i'm not going to continue just you know driving at this 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 uh point of you know letting you know fear is never going to go away just be able to know how to control it as you move forward and again the best practice is risk management okay all right building a great trading plan around yourself or your or your means of trading okay all right, that trading plan is going to be your holy grail in a sense. And I don't really like to loosely use that term, but it's going to be your measure, which is going to protect you um, when you sit in front of your charts each and every day. All right, and whatever strategy, if you got several strategies, hey, I see this happening. I'm, I'm going to trade based on this strategy. For me, I, I probably just use one strategy, okay? And it's worked out for me, all right? So, that's all I, I want to leave you guys with, okay? Just really understand what I'm trying to drive home here today um, is that it's not easy for everyone, and you can do it. it. And some people, it takes them longer than others, but just be patient. It's like everything else in life. I think people fail because they're not just they're patient enough and allow things to unfold. We as people, most people, are looking for a quick success. And there's no th there's no such thing as quick success. It may appear that way when you see people on the TV or in the media uh, and they went from, you know, it seems overnight they become millionaires. All right. And people always talk about what well, millionaires are made overnight. Hey, that, that term is loosely. OK, you're using that term very loosely. But trust me, they put in lots of time to build a business. OK, many hours and bit and burnt uh, the candle on both ends while we were asleep. They were still working. OK, yes, people become successful. You know, that's the thing about it is that um, money is always being made while we're asleep. OK, ideas are always being created while, while we sleep. All right. So if you want a piece of the chunk or the piece of the pie out here in life, you really have to buckle down, put in the time, put in the hours and don't expect anyone in life to give it to you. All right. 
but we can help others by showing them the way and that's what that's the purpose of really why i started dropping these videos and making content is this, i just want to see people succeed as well and be profitable here in the market so i'll leave you guys with that you take it and use it however you want to but i'm just telling you um that component of fear would never go away people think that you know they always ask well how do you get into these markets and not and be so calm about it sometimes when i enter a trade you know i enter it not with 100 percent confidence because uh the trade setup trade setup may not be a high probability uh as as i should say as high probability as i want it to be okay there's sometimes where i take a trade and it may not be the 100 percent best setup but to me, it still maybe it still appears to be a great opportunity. All right. And that's where I would uh, you know, really get out of the trade quicker if it if it didn't work out in my direction. Okay. And you have to you have to understand that. Some trades you'll get into and they will be higher probability, some will be a little bit lower probability. And you have to know the based upon the setups. And you'll have to understand, okay, I'm willing to risk a certain amount, okay, on the higher probability trades versus the lower probability trades. Okay, but anyways, uh, I would also want to say if you're interested in joining our Discord community, please find the link down in the description portion of the video below. Okay, click on it, invite yourself in, and that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this video here. Um, you can do it. Just put your mind and your heart to it if you really want to succeed in, in this business. But protect your capital in the end. I want to say thank you to everyone out there who is currently subscribed to the channel. If you're a first-time viewer and you have not subbed to the channel, please click on the red button down below that subscribe button. Make sure to click on the bell next to it and turn your post notifications on so you never miss one of the uploads here on the channel. Thank you for doing so. And as always, please drop a like on the video, okay? I definitely appreciate it. Lots of valuable content that I give away here on this channel for free. Good information. And again, if you're interested in joining our Discord, just click on the link down in the description portion of the video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.